Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well today, I'm going to do a QA. and a I feel like I haven't done a Q&A on here for a little while, when in reality it's probably not that long ago, but I feel like I asked for these questions about two months ago. Uh, I asked over on Instagram if you guys had any questions. I like to film a Q&A every so often because I like the questions that you guys ask. The quirkier the better, if you ask me. Um, also, it get you guys get to know me a little bit and yeah, I just, I really like this format. So every so often, every couple of months, three months, I like doing these little question and answers. And today is very holiday heavy. I feel like I've been going through the questions and a lot of it is holiday. So I think we're gonna call this a holiday Q&A. Although there are a few other questions as well, which maybe I'll throw in. Yeah, do you know what? Let's do those first and then we'll get on to all of the holiday questions. Okay, first question uh, is from Bobo's Knickknacks. That's such a cool name. Um, Hi Em, what do you do in your day job? Have you ever considered doing YouTube full time? Um, so I work full time in a sales office. I work for an electronics company. I have been there 21 and a half years. <laughs> That's insane. I started there when I was 21. Was I 21? 22. 21. And I'm now in my 40s. <laughs> Honestly, it's insane, but it just goes to show how much I love my job. Uh, and then the second part was, have you ever considered doing YouTube full time? It's never really been on my radar to do this full time. YouTube has always been a hobby for me, same as any kind of social media. Um, I feel like to me it's too unstable <laughs> because I like the stability, I want stability in my life. Like I said, I've been in my job for 21 plus years. Um, don't like change, <laughs> can, can you tell? Um, and I'm very happy, I'm very happy in my job. Uh, it gives me security. I don't, I don't want to have that feeling of, um, I have to make a certain amount of money, do you know? Like if I did that, if I did like content creating full time, I think you'd be constantly thinking, well, when's my next job gonna come in to, to pay the bills? And my brain can't function like that. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people that do do it full time, they do an amazing job and they love it, absolutely love it, but I just don't feel confident enough to take that leap. Um, I, like, I like the security. <laughs> too much uh, but props to people that have taken the leap and it's worked and it's going amazing but yeah for me no it's just a hobby and also I like the fact that if if I fell out of love with it I mean you guys know I stopped doing the weekly vlogs for a little while and sometimes it's a case of well I don't really feel like I don't really feel like vlogging this week and that's okay but if it was my job I'd be like well I, I have to film something because I have to make money uh, it's not about that for me because I've already got a job. I mean, sure, I make a little bit of money on YouTube, which is lovely, but I just enjoy the fact that it's a hobby. And so if it all ended tomorrow, I've got a job and I'm safe. Kathy2204 has asked, do you still go to choir? No, I haven't been to choir for a long time. I used to really enjoy going. So if you don't know, um, I started going to a choir last year, last year. Uh, I went for a little while, but I don't know. I mean, I loved it. When I first started going, I loved it. But then as time went on, I just felt it just wasn't for me. And that's absolutely okay. <laughs> like you can try things. This is what life's about, you know, you can try things. If they're for you, great. If they're not, at least you've had a go and at least you've tried. Um, so yeah, I tried it, I liked it for a little bit, and then I just, just wasn't gelling with it. I wasn't really enjoying it like, like I should have been. And so that was me sort of thinking, well, maybe, maybe I'll just retreat from that. I had a go and it was, it was all right, but wasn't my cup of tea in the end. <laughs> Sarah S04. 04 has asked uh how is your mum uh why doesn't she appear very much in your vlogs anymore um 
mummy's fine mummy's absolutely fine she is loving life um she's been a little bit poorly lately um yeah but in terms of her not appearing in vlogs i kind of feel like did i address this i think i talked about this in the podcast that i do with kyla that's not a podcast um if you don't know about that i do a video cast vidcast vodcast what would we call it basically it's it's a podcast that's not a podcast <laughs> over on kyla's channel um i'll link it below and um we talked about um boundaries and social media and all that kind of thing and i feel like this is this goes hand in hand because um on the plus side so many people feel like you know they they want to see mum or they want to see chris or certain family members in vlogs because they have been but as time's gone on i am sort of phasing <laughs> phasing people out um because they want their privacy i don't want to put a camera in people's faces all the time if they want to be in a vlog um if they want to say hello i mean i'll always ask before i turn the camera on if they're not comfortable they're not comfortable and so yeah mum's mum's felt a little bit like she doesn't want to be on the camera as much and i respect that entirely and so if we go places and she's not in a vlog but you see that she's in a picture or whatever where i've been somewhere it's not that i just haven't filmed her on purpose it's because i am respecting her boundaries um and the same goes for anybody else my godchildren i i barely film them anymore if you see them you'll probably see the back of them um chris again he sort of it depends if he's in the mood to be in a vlog he'll be in the vlog but it's not you know he's not obliged to be in them i'm the one that's recording and so yeah i feel it's it's more a case of just respect and boundaries but she's totally fine thank you for asking royce home with royce um if you don't know if you didn't see my california vlogs uh we met royce and his husband chris when we were in california and i cannot wait to see you guys again next year um he has asked what's your favorite season to decorate your home oh um christmas gotta be christmas i love autumn decor and i've got a lot of autumn decor but i just love decorating for christmas i'm already thinking about christmas decorations that's terrible isn't it but christmas okay right now on to the many travel questions travel and holiday uh, okay first one emily fenton lynch where are you going on your next holiday so our next holiday is a cruise we are going to the norwegian fjords with p and o on iona um i have got lots of vlogs in my watch later list because i want to just have a look at the ship what what's in store what we're going to see i cannot wait to open the curtains step onto the balcony and just have mountains surrounding me it's going to be so beautiful and i cannot wait so yeah that's our next our next holiday which is coming around quickly okay next one is uh from underscore moments underscore travel hello chantelle um if you don't know go and follow her on instagram she she does holiday bookings she will if you're looking for a holiday um she will find you the best price and yeah so i'll give her a little shout out um she has asked one for holidays obviously uh she has asked favorite holiday so far and why oh my goodness that is oh i mean i love all my holidays equally because we just create just the best memories on any holiday that we go on uh, and it's just about spending quality time together and yeah but I'm gonna say the most recent one you know because we had the best time just flying into LA going to California Disney which I feel for me was the best park not that I'm a Disney park connoisseur <laughs> I've been I've been to Magic Kingdom in Florida and Disneyland Paris so you know I'm not I'm not a fay with all of the parks but i just found the california park it's the original one and i found it to be just really relaxed just a, just a really nice chilled environment um so doing that and then you know we did uh walk of fame went did la we did warner brothers studios tour that was incredible and then driving to the grand canyon which 
was just spectacular. Just the views were just breathtaking. And then driving to Vegas and we just had lots of fun. Um, so that's got to be my favourite holiday. I think, like, doing lots of things, we're very much, like, we're not really beachy people although we were talking about maybe do it like going to Greece next year for a week and just having like we haven't been on like an all-inclusive holiday for years and so we might do that but I we're just on the go all the time when we go on holiday I don't just want to just lay on a sunbed I want to explore and so we've always done city breaks or long haul and just traveled round and so there are kind of holidays um, so yeah, the last one was just incredible, but I'm sure all of the other ones we're going to go on in the future are going to be just as amazing. Rachie0909, what inspired you to try a cruise holiday? Um, maybe like word of mouth. Our friends have been on cruise holidays and we've watched some cruise vlogs and we just wanted to give it a try. Mum's always wanted to go on a cruise as well. And so we thought we'd give it a go. Just we, we went on the little mini break one, really just to get a taste of it, just to see what it's like and just fell in love with it. And so we are really looking forward to going on our next cruise, like as a longer holiday, just to like get on and off the ship and go and explore. And also I feel like it's, it's a great way of seeing loads of different countries, especially if you go on like a Mediterranean one or you can do like, you go like all around um, the Bahamas and all, you can just like island hop. It's just a great way of seeing the world, but you know, you're not like flying here, there and everywhere because like going to an airport can be quite tiring. <laughs> you know, I mean, you've got the whole travel day and the build up and the excitement and I like that, but sometimes that's a lot of time that's taken up just by traveling to the airport, doing all of that, the security and the customs, then you're waiting around for ages and then your flight's so long. Whereas I, on the cruise, I mean, bear in mind, we've only done the weekend one so far, but we were literally checked in, did the security, and then you're on board and your holiday begins. And that was like, why haven't we done this sooner? <laughs> so, yeah i mean i will let you know obviously i'm going to be vlogging the cruise that we go on so i will let you know all the ins and outs and um how much different it was for a weekend one and what we liked what we disliked all that kind of thing um but yeah i kind of just felt felt inspired and also like we've said oh is it an age thing as you get older <laughs> i mean maybe not maybe it is that's just like a tongue-in-cheek thing don't get me wrong when i was younger if I thought of a cruise, I always thought of older people doing cruises. And I know that I've become an older person, but I feel I feel people who are a lot older than me on cruises, that's what I thought. But no, I was mistaken. <laughs> they there are many age groups on cruises, and so yeah. I guess I guess we just felt inspired by friends, inspired by vlogs. And just wanted to try something different and see what it was like. Okay, I'm going to make this the last question. And it is from James, my lovely friend James. James1993 underscore fitness underscore. Um, he has done incredible. If you're into fitness, he high fives. He's done incredible. Um, what are your summer plans? What are you looking forward to the most? Um, I'd like some summer that would be nice because it just feels like it's constantly raining at the moment. Um, but what am I looking forward to? Spending time with friends. Um, we've got some things booked. I'm going to Emma Bridgewater. I'm gonna have um, breakfast and pottery making and you get a tour of the factory. I'm so excited, so excited. So that's planned. Uh, we wanna have a couple of little weekends away, me and Chris. Um, so that's planned. <laughs> Um, I, I really want to get down to the seaside. We live not far away. We live like about an hour away from the beach and I, we've not been. We've not been. What, what have we been doing with our time? I don't know, but I like to go to the beach, um, maybe to Swanage, it's one of my favourite places. Um, yeah, and just, just catch up, see people. 
I feel like as you get older, life just goes so quickly, doesn't it? And I feel like I'm forever trying to schedule to see people all the time. I'm like, right, I'm free in four weeks on a Saturday, <laughs> I feel like. But you also, like, I want to take time for us as well and have sort of slow weekends too. So it's like, it's trying to get that happy medium, isn't it? And try to see people that you care about and you love and you want to spend time with, but also having that like time at home. I am, I am quite a homebody. Um, I love spending time in my home, <laughs> my surroundings. And so if I get that opportunity of a weekend where it's quiet, I really enjoy that too. Um, so yeah, but yeah, lots, lots of plans for the upcoming weeks, for the summer. <laughs> um, I mean, I think we're gonna, I think when the weather finally does hit, I think it's gonna go into September like it did last year. Cause I remember September being boiling. So I'm hoping we've still got a bit of extra time before the colder weather sets in. Um, but yeah, anyway, right, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you to everybody that sent in questions. If I didn't get to your question, I'm really sorry. Thank you so much for sending them in. I will do another ask on Instagram in the next few months, I'm sure. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll get to your question in the next one. But yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you on Saturday for another weekly vlog. So I'll see you then. Bye.